Hello, I just wanted to show you this little demo uh, example of some interesting custom lights that you can make with the S-Bus mixer. So this is my <laughs> foam board car. Please excuse the crudity of this model, etc, etc. Uh, S-Bus mixer is inside there with the receiver. Uh, the transmitter is going to be this Dumbo RC6 uh, channel, which is quite handy for a demo like this. And there's a little lipo in there, and the lights come out here, and they're all in a single string. These are RGB LEDs. So we've got brake and indicator lights on the back, indicator repeater on the side near the front, and then we have headlights and fog lights below that on the front, another indicator repeater, and then a light bar across the top with eight lights. And I'm going to have to put a little piece of paper across that light bar because unfortunately I was just trying to film this before and it's very difficult to get things to the brightness is a real difficult thing to film because these ones at the top here I could go back into the program and like dim them all down a bit but it would take quite a while so I'm just going to put a piece of paper over there the problem is that they the color doesn't show up very well in the video especially orange tends to look white and a lot of the lights that we're going to see, they're flashing, so the camera, uh, when the light comes on, the camera, uh, it's over bright in the camera, and it just looks white, so, yeah, this isn't going to look as good for you as it does for me here in person. Uh, the servo is just connected to the steering there, so, you can see that's just left and right like that. So when I move slowly, we get nothing happening. So this is just if you're driving normally. Now when you're pulling up to an intersection or you're going to turn a corner somewhere, if you quickly twitch it a little bit like that, that simulates the turning the indicator stalk on on, on your car. Uh, and it stays in that mode, right, like a real car. And you can cancel it by twitching it the other way a little bit like that. And uh, the way it's set up in the program is that if you do it less than a fifth of a second away and back to center, it will detect that as a switch. So be like that and cancel and if you then turn slower so more than a fifth of a second and back it will cancel the turn signal just like in a real car uh, so that's indicators and then we also have brakes uh, so if we go forwards and then back quickly we get full bright red on the back like that but if we were we weren't if we were not going anywhere, if we were not already going forwards, and then we go back, we get a reverse light like that. That's kind of bright, isn't it? I should probably turn that one down. So forward and then back, we get brake. Otherwise, we just get reverse. Uh, then fog lights are on this two-position switch, or a, sorry, no, it's a um, toggle switch. So that's like that. And they're supposed to be kind of yellow there. I don't know if it's really showing through. Um, yeah, but they're more yellow than the headlights. So when we turn the headlights on, we get also the brake lights will come on, but not as bright as when the brakes are actually being used. And hopefully, actually, that showed up quite well. So you might notice there that at the beginning, the headlights were dimmer and they were kind of bluish. And that's supposed to mimic the way that Xenon headlights or HID headlights, when you turn them on, they have to warm up a bit. So I'll try that again. I'm not exactly sure what you call those, but I have those in my car, and, and so when I turn the headlights on, this is what I get. Uh, anyway, so we also have high beams like that. I wonder if I turn this on to high beams straight away. Yeah, I th maybe that helps you see it a little bit better. Uh, and then, yeah, so we have brake lights there, um, but they're only on half strength, so when you're actually braking, uh, they're brighter than that. Um, so, I think the light bar is next to look at, and I'm going to change, <laughs> I'm changing the light bar by slowly turning this dial here, and I've got 13 modes on the one dial, or 12 modes maybe. So I'm just going to have to slowly turn this until we get to the right position. Come on. There we go. 
Alright, so this is the first mode, it's just plain white lights. Um, so there's six lights going there, the two in the middle are not on. And the two on the far left are flickering a little bit, and that's because this is a bit of a hillbilly's rust bucket, like a deer hunting truck or whatever they do with these light bars on the roof. Um, and Cletus and Jethro have been arguing about who should fix that. But then they just go and drink some more moonshine and nothing ever gets done. So um, I'm using a, a noise function to just sort of flicker that off and on a little bit to simulate it being, you know, on the blink. Um, you also notice, <clears throat> notice that the headlights are not the nice xenon bulb headlights that we had before, like that. They're kind of a yellowy looking bulb. Uh, so these are, again, this is a, a pretty old truck that Cletus bought from his uncle, so it's been around for a while and it just has the old incandescent yellowy kind of old-fashioned bulbs like that. <laughs> Do you like my little story? <laughs> um, Alright, so next mode is uh, sort of a slow cycling police mode. Uh, I think this is called barricade mode or roadblock or something like that. And then we have a more frantic get out of my way sort of thing, random chaos, and then we have next mode I call uh, epilepsy mode, so the lights are sort of really f uh, flashing off and on very quickly at the top, oh whoops, sorry, I'm not in that mode properly, there we go, that's better, um, and we also have the hazard lights going, and the headlights are flashing alternately on high beam there. So that really should get your attention. And then the next three modes are basically the same as what we just saw, except instead of red and blue, it's just red. So this is like fire engine, ambulance, something like that. Uh, so we have the slow one, random chaos, and then whoops, epilepsy there. Uh, it, this one doesn't have the alternating headlights though. And after that, we have, now this is supposed to be orange, this is what I was saying. How can I make it look more orange? Nah. <laughs> oh, trust me, it looks very orange in real life where I'm looking at it here. Um, anyway, this is something that you might see at a construction site with heavy machinery or um, ground vehicles at an airport or something like that. Uh, just sort of, yeah, oscillating or even turning, they have those turning lights quite often and then they also sometimes have strobing things as well so it's just, uh, I was just playing around trying to get something that looked a bit like that and then we have another sort of a utility vehicle this is supposed to be orange as well but like I said when, this, when the light comes on after being off for a while the camera takes a bit of time to get used to it because, but because it's so quick and then it's gone it just looks white <sighs> it's really annoying um, this is actually something like I see on my the, the garbage truck that comes to pick up my garbage. It looks a bit like that, I think. And then we have this one I call Tokyo Taxi because <laughs> when I lived in Tokyo, I noticed that the taxis, so that's just the taxi light on the roof, a lot of the taxis had these daytime running lights. So those are not the headlights. I have headlights separate like that. Um, yeah, but they have these daytime running lights down a bit lower, and they're usually a slight blue color, and they shimmer like that, which is also not coming through on the camera very well. Oh, there you go. Hopefully you can... Oops. Hopefully you can see them shimmering a bit. And, yeah, the idea of, idea of those is just to be extra safe and visible, I suppose. Um, another feature that I often saw on the taxis in Japan is that when they were indicating... They have another light up on the roof in the middle, like that. And I'll put a little picture on the screen here of an example of one of those. So that's uh, left and right on that. Uh, and then I started to run out of car examples. So this next one is just like aircraft, um, aircraft navigation lights. Let's move in, zoom in there a little bit. So you see that on planes quite often. 
and then we have what do we have after that? Oh, so this is traffic light simulation. So the there's three lights on the left and three lights on the right, and they would be from the lights on opposing roads at the same intersection. So this is how the timing is supposed to be working. So green, orange, red, and then they stay red together for a little bit just to make sure that the intersection is clear and then one of them will go green. At least that's how it works where I live. Uh, so yeah, something like this you could use on uh, dioramas or like a model train display. And I've seen videos on YouTube where people have built whole towns with buildings and streets and everything and traffic lights and so this this could be some, useful for something like that. And then after that we have this one. Yeah, I was going to try and do something like a, an airport runway because I seem to recall that they have animation in the lights, like the, the lights are changing or flashing or something like that. But I couldn't really find any examples of that. It seems like they're actually kind of boring. So I went for this one instead. This is again supposed to be orange. Uh, and this is like you might see when you're driving down the highway and there's roadworks ahead and there's a truck there with one of these arrows pointing to the side to motion to you to change lanes. Now I, I can't do an arrow with um, just a single strip of lights but I'm just sort of showing that you can animate along the strip like that. Um, that's as close as I could get and I think that is the end of this demo, that's all my modes I had. I think that was 13 modes. Um, so I'll just switch back through those slowly. Traffic lights, plane, taxi, utility, utility 2, red 1, 2, 3, <laughs> it puts <laughs> Hillbillies. There we go, back to normal. Okay. Uh, so that's it. Thanks for watching.